glass blowing. Actually, we have academic glass classes at Coastal Bay College, we're the oldest academic facility in the state of Texas to blow glass. We've had some of the students come down here, either come for a workshop or drive back and forth. Um, I think Jean has some flyers if you're interested in a workshop. It's a four-day workshop. You'll learn to have small sculptural pieces and small vessels. Uh, our interest, of course, is the typical Italian process, which is a vessel form and paper weights. But really, we move towards glass as an expression in the media in 3D, like clay, instead of just production vessels or production mugs, things instead of craft. So you'll see solid form and uh, slumped form. Here's some more solid form. Uh, there's solid and pulled. Over there are pieces blown and attached together. Glass uh, is in three uh, temperatures, cold, warm, and hot. You probably know cold, that's stained glass, it's cold glass working and cutting like you might use for dishes. Warm is fusing and slumping. Fusing is when you put cold glass into a kiln and heat it up and it will melt. Or you can take a sheet of glass and lay it over a form and melt it, that's called slumping. You can lay it in a, over a form and let it slump inside a form, that's warm glass. And then hot glass is glass blowing, Italian process. 2,000 degree molten furnace, I believe. What, what's happening is I'm drawing on steel with fire. I have four by eight sheets of steel. I'm using a plasma cutter when I'm drawing. So all the fire is underneath me when I'm doing the drawings. Um, just installed a plasma cutter at my studio. It's real extreme this is for me and it's extremely exciting. I have a, a, a cello friend of mine. I'm gonna, my next pr one is a, a leaf that I'm working on. Well, she's gonna come over and improv with a cello while I'm cutting with, in the fire. It sounds so exciting. So, so where I'm headed now is incorporating glass with these steel pieces. I'm probably gonna wrap some flowers in them and things like that and with strips pulled out and, you know, I don't really know yet. I'm working on some other things, but, but the light through them and, and the excitement of the fire, the process is really, exciting. So I expect to see you in welding class. Get started. Jane Sturgay gave her gallery talk and then did a watercolor demonstration after that. Um, just to reintroduce myself in case you weren't here at that time, my name is Laura Prang and I'm the gallery coordinator. It's my pleasure to have worked with Jane um, these past few months in organizing her show and to see the the celebration of color and nature that is the outcome of such a tremendous amount of work. Um, what I would like to do now is ask um, the Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences to say a few words, um, if you would, and then we'll ask uh, Dr. Gandhi to follow up with um, Dr. Hughes' comments. Thank you, Laura. Uh, well, on behalf of the College of Arts and Sciences and uh, the Department of Art, welcome uh, to this fine showing. We're, we're very fortunate to not only have this venue, and it's, uh, it's, uh, it's an incredible venue now. I think it's, this is a beautiful art gallery and it's moving right forward thanks to Laura and her co-workers and so forth and to our great uh, artists, visitors that, that come here. But this department is now um, moving forward, as it has been in the past, but it has great things ahead of it. We've got new things going on in the department, uh, uh, a new area for uh, doing uh, ceramics work, improvements in that facility, and improvements in uh, just storage and so forth, just to kind of get things working better and safer, more convenient for students. But, but aside from that, we're starting to see students come into this department from all over. Students are not just from around Kingsville and South Texas. We're getting them from all over the state and even from out of state too. 
So anyway, the department's growing. Uh, the college is doing, are doing well because of departments like this and because of efforts by the faculty, staff, and, and the students. And so I want to uh, uh, be, tell you to feel comfortable, be, uh, be here, enjoy it, uh, have a good time, and be sure and talk with uh, Jane, talk to her about her art, and uh, she's a very exciting individual, and I just want to remark how non-exclusive her, uh, her artwork is. It's all different types of things. She's not letting one thing define her. And so that is, that is really nice. So anyway, I'm going to uh, now uh, uh, let Dr. Gandhi, this is our provost, Dr. Rex Gandhi, and we'll let him say a few words and uh, make the presentation. Thanks, Scott. Uh, i just follow up on what Scott said. It's truly a, a beautiful show. I actually have a personal interest in it because I helped hang a few of those uh, paintings over there one Saturday and uh, the Department of Art has started a, a very significant uh, process of honoring uh, their, their graduates that have gone out into the art world and made significant uh, contributions and uh, so today as part of that uh, I think, is this number two or three? Number just second, two? second annual. Second annual. Uh, notable alumni award from Texas A&M University Kingsville Department of Art. And this uh, will be displayed on the walls of the art department. And, uh, you know, uh, so you see some of the beautiful work there. And, uh, Congratulations. Oh, what a surprise. Thank you. Wow. Say a few words. Oh, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> uh, what a surprise. I was here a long time ago, finished up my master's here. And actually, there's one of the only paintings left from that wow. show. Wow. I brought it to share with some of the people here. Uh, this is really special. I can't believe it. So I'm alumni. I guess I have to start doing more things here. Right? Oh, yeah. so, that's the deal. Yeah. Well, Jane, I'd like to make the point that um, to all you students, and I want to thank all the students for helping with the reception today. This could be to you. Yeah. <laughs> 